Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this Thursday in the 14th week of Ordinary Time. And today we celebrate the life of Saint Benedict. So we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel comes from Matthew chapter 10, verses 7 to 15. Jesus instructed the Twelve as follows. As you go, proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils. You received without charge, give without charge. Provide yourselves with no gold or silver, not even with a few coppers for your purses with no haversack for the journey, or spare tunic or footwear or a staff, for the workman deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you go into, ask for someone trustworthy and stay with him until you leave. As you enter his house, salute it, and if the house deserves it, let your peace descend upon it. If it does not, let your peace come back to you. And if anyone does not welcome you or listen to what you have to say, as you walk out of the town or the house, shake the dust from your feet. I tell you solemnly on the day of judgment, it will not go as hard with the land of Sodom and Gomorrah as with that town. The Gospel of the Lord. As I mentioned in the introduction, today we celebrate the life of Saint Benedict. Benedict was, bo was born in Nursia in Umbria and studied in Rome, but he was unable to stomach city life. And so he became a solitary hermit at Subiaco. His reputation spread and some monks asked him to be their abbot. But they did not like the discipline he imposed and tried to poison him. Benedict organized various small communities of monks and nuns in various places, including the great monastery of Mont Cassino. He drew up a set of rules to guide the communal life of monasteries. And although this was not the first monastic rule ever, the rule of St. Benedict has proved so wise and balanced that it, that it has served as the foundation of practically every attempt at communal living ever since, and not only in religious communities. The rule of St. Benedict recognizes that people aim at perfection but often fall well short of it and aims to be a rule for beginners in which even the least perfect and least able can grow in spiritual stature. And so on this special day in the tradition of our church, we ask St. Benedict, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And until then, take care and God bless. Mm -hmm.